Welcome back to School Pates. We hope that you enjoyed your break and got all the rest that you deserved. I'm Connor. And I'm Melanie. And to be honest, I'm missing break already. Tell me about it. In this week's edition, we will take a look back at the Hoops for Hopes event that happened last Wednesday. Get a laugh in with Freedom's Best Jokes for National Humor Month. And as always, fill you in on the important freedom news you need to know. Speaking of news, let's spring on into our main news. See what I did there? <laughs> This information is important for any senior eligible and interested in trying out for student speaker at graduation. A meeting with Ms. Sage for anyone interested is being held April 3rd at 2 o'clock p.m. in the conference room, which is located in the main office. All speeches are due to Ms. Sage Wednesday, April 11th. Faculty chosen student speaker tryouts will take place on Monday, April 15th. Since we've officially made it past spring break, the countdown for the end of the year is getting slimmer. For seniors, there are only 36 days left, and there are 43 days left for the underclassmen. Keep working hard, Pace, during the final push. The class of 2024 is holding a dues drive from April 2nd to April 5th outside of all lunches. Every graduating senior must pay class dues as they pay for your cap and gown for graduation. Dues for seniors are $50 and can be paid using cash, check, or money order made out to Freedom High School. Please include your ID number in the memo spot of the check. You will also receive a receipt after your payment. If you do not pay your class dues, you will not be able to attend prom or graduation, nor receive a cap and gown. If you have questions, talk to Ms. Carpentier in room 133 or Ms. Elliott in room 132. Another important announcement for seniors. The community service deadline is Friday, April 12, 2024. All hours must be completed and submitted in the Helper Helper as soon as possible. You can sign up for any upcoming service opportunities by logging onto Helper Helper checking out the doors of opportunities in the Canon Lobby, or by reaching out to any BASD approved agencies for additional details. Be sure to see Mrs. Medina in room 114B if you have any questions. Juniors and underclassmen should also continue to work towards the required 60 hours needed to graduate. Tickets for 42nd Street Freedom Spring Musical are on sale now. Go to the link on screen to get your tickets before they sell out. The show runs from April 12th to the 14th, so make sure that you don't miss out. Now, let's check out our weekly lunch schedule. Over to you, Gigi. I come to West for West for Gigi. What are your name? Alyssa. What are you in? I'm a sophomore. What are you watch this week? Um, today I have a chicken bacon ranch sandwich. Thank you. Thanks for another yet amazing lunch segment, Gigi. The annual Hoops for Hope basketball game took place last week, raising money to aid the fight of different types of cancer. Let's turn it over to Nate and Hayden to get a closer look at the event. Last Wednesday, the annual Hoops for Hope basketball games were hosted to raise awareness and money for cancer. There was a lot of excitement for the games, so Hayden and I were at the event and spoke with the coaches and players to recap the event. In total, the event raised over $2,500 for pediatric cancer treatment and awareness. Congratulations to the organizers for putting this extremely successful event together. Great job to the winners and good luck next year to those who lost. The event was an amazing experience and I can't wait to see how it gets top next year. Back to you, Mel and Connor. Thank you, Nate and Hayden, for giving us a deeper look into this amazing event. It seems like it was another great year for Hoops for Hope, and I can't wait to see what next year's event will look like. Now, let's check out the club news for this week. The debate team is preparing for its next season and is in search of new members. If you are interested in joining or just finding out what the debate team does, please go to room 602 after school on Wednesdays. They will meet every week until the end of the school year. Join now to compete in the fall. The photography club will be hosting a bake sale and Polaroid sale during all lunches April 3rd to April 5th. Stop by to purchase baked goods or a Polaroid photo of you and your friends for $3 each. Let's take a look at the club schedule this week.
April is the start of National Stress Awareness Month. Since we all know that laughter is the best medicine, Sean is going around the school, seeing what jokes students and teachers can crack. Thanks, Connor and Mel. April's National Humor Month, so let's go around to see what students have to tell for jokes. Who am I here with? Blossom. Uh, do you have any funny jokes you can share with us? Yeah, I have a joke. All right, let's hear it. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Why? Because they make up everything. Thank you. All right, who am I here with? Uh, John. And? Nate. Do you guys have any funny jokes you can share with us? Knock, knock. Who's there? John. John who? John Bodner. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Do you have anything? Um, knock, knock. Who's there? Nate. Nate who? Nate Juan. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, who am I here with? Elijah Millington. Do you have any funny jokes you can share with us? Where do pencils live? Pennsylvania. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Thank you very much. Uh, do you have any funny jokes to tell us? Uh, yeah. All right, let's hear it. When life gives you lemons, toss them aside and have sophomore cookies from the bake sale instead. All right, thank you very much. Who am I here with? Gabby Senna. Landry Gooman. Do you guys have any funny jokes you could tell me? <laughs> what do you call a pile of cats? What? A meowton. <laughs> thank you very much. Do you have any uh, funny jokes you can share with us today? What do you call a penguin in the desert? <laughs> what? Lost. Thank you. Who am I here with? Miss Gilmartin. Miss G. Uh, do you have a funny joke that you can share with us? I have a joke I can share with you. All right, let's hear it. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? What? A stick. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks to the students for keeping it lighthearted this month. Back to you, Connor and Mel. Thank you, Sean. It seems like Freedom has itself a little funny bone. What did you think of some of those jokes, Connor? You know what? I gotta hand it to them. Some of them are pretty clever. But, you know, some of them could use a little bit of work. Yeah, agreed. But do you know what isn't a joke? Our amazing sports teams. Let's turn it over to Amy and Tyler for our weekly Freedom Paid Sports Update. Thanks, Mel and Connor. And welcome back to your Freedom Paid Sports Update. I'm Amy. And I'm Tyler. This past week, our softball team racked up wins with two mercy rules against Southern Lehigh and Pocono Mountain East. Congratulations to Madison Glick on 100 hits throughout her high school career. Baseball also picked up a win against Pocono Mountain East. Boys tennis picked up yet another win against Pocono Mountain West, and volleyball winning against Northampton, Notre Dame, and Bureau in dominant fashion, moving their way up to number one. Congratulations, Pates. Keep the wins coming. Hey, baseball and softball head to Northampton at four. Tomorrow, boys tennis faces Emmaus at home on the courts, while girls lacrosse plays them on the turf at 4. Boys lacrosse head to the Hornets' nest at 6.30 to face the Green Hornets. And boys volleyball will be going to Whitehall at 5.30. Thursday, track and field have a meet against Central Catholic with baseball and softball in the backfield against East Stroudsburg North at 4. Friday, boys tennis travels to East Stroudsburg High Schools at 3.30 while boys lacrosse is home on the turf against Salkin with the girls away. Lastly, boys volleyball is in the main gym against Abington Heights at 5. Good luck to our pates this week. That's all for your Freedom Paid Sports Update. Back to you, Connor and Mel. Before we end this week, we'd like to talk about our annual Freedom Forum publication, The Senior Issue. This special magazine goes out to all seniors and includes the year's highlights, senior quotes, and short bios about all seniors interested in being included. This is the forum's gift to the graduating class, and we'd like to represent as much of the senior class as possible. Thank you to all of you who have already submitted the form. To be included, go to the QR code on the screen, or check your emails for directions and a link from Ms. Mamaros. It takes about five minutes to fill out the form, and you get a chance to include a picture of your choice, a senior quote, and your advice to future generations of Freedom students. Make sure to submit your form by April 30th. That's all for this week's edition of the Freedom Forum. Make sure to follow us on TikTok and Instagram at FHS Forum for more updates. Have a great week back, Freedom.